Thanks for choosing North America's leading wheelbarrow supplier. This step-by-step -step video will help you quickly and easily assemble your new wheelbarrow. Before you begin assembly, lay out all the parts, the components, and the hardware and make sure you have everything you need. The first step is to push the uh, tray bolts through the bottom of the tray. When doing this, make sure you use the nylon retainer clips that are included, one clip per bolt. Push the bolt through the bottom of the tray, then through the clip. Push it securely through and make sure that the bolt is properly seated in the bottom of the tray. Pay attention to your bolt sizes. The five inch bolts go through the two front holes while the three and a half inch bolts go through the two rear holes. With the bolts in position, now it's time to put the risers on. Carefully slide the risers over the exposed bolts, making sure that the, that the tall end of the riser is toward the front of the tray. With the risers in place, it's time to add the handles. Make sure the grip ends of the handles are facing toward the rear of the wheelbarrow and carefully slide each handle over the exposed bolts on top of the risers. Now it's time to add the cross braces. Notice this reinforcing rib that runs through the center of each cross brace. When putting the cross braces on, make sure that rib is oriented toward the bottom of the tray. Lay the short cross brace over the two front bolts and the long cross brace over the two rear bolts. When assembling the legs, make sure these holes are oriented toward the back of the wheelbarrow. Place a leg over the exposed bolts and attach by hand tightening a half inch nut over each exposed bolt. Repeat this to attach the second leg. Now it's time to attach the Jackson leg stabilizers. Place the stabilizer on top of the leg and drop a three quarter inch bolt through the stabilizer and through the bottom of the leg. Loosely attach this with a half inch nut. Repeat to attach the second leg stabilizer to the other leg. When attaching the leg brace, make sure that the short side of the leg brace is oriented toward the tray and this long side of the leg brace is toward the bottom of the legs. Simply place the leg brace against the back of the legs push a three-quarter inch bolt through the leg, then through the leg brace. Use a half inch nut to loosely secure the leg brace to the leg. Repeat this three more times to fully assemble the leg brace. Now it's time to attach the wheel guard. Simply place the wheel guard over the front of the handles. Using a two and a quarter inch bolt, push the bolt from the outside through the wheel guard, then through the handle, and loosely attach with one of the half inch nuts. Repeat this to attach the other side, again, making sure that the rounded part of the bolt is on the outside of the assembly and the threaded part of the bolt is on the inside of the handles. Push the bolt through and loosely attach with a half inch nut. Now that the wheel guard's in place, take your wrench or your half inch socket and fully tighten both bolts, securing the wheel guard in place. When assembling the axle bracket, make sure this long part of the axle bracket is pointing toward the inside of the wheelbarrow assembly. Take a two and three quarter inch bolt, push it up through the handle, then through the axle bracket, secure it loosely with a half inch nut. Make sure to use one of the holes closest to the tray. Then push a bolt up through the bottom of the tray brace, then take the tray brace and bolt, push that up through the handle, and then through the front hole of the axle bracket. Again, loosely fasten with a half inch nut. Now it's time to put the wheel in place. Slide the axle completely through the hub tube and then take the axle and wheel assembly, place that in between the handles and push one end of the axle into the attached axle bracket. Now take your second axle bracket, slide that bracket onto the other end of the axle and then using the two and three quarter inch bolts, attach the second axle bracket to the handle don't forget to include the other front tray brace. Roll the wheelbarrow on its side and attach the top of the tray brace to the tray using a three quarter inch bolt. Push the bolt through the tray from the inside then through the brace. Use a half inch nut to attach it. Repeat this to attach the second tray brace. Now it's time to position the wheel assembly and tighten the axle brackets. Press on the axle brackets to center the wheel between the handles. 
When the wheel's in the correct position, simply use your half inch wrench or socket and tighten all four axle bracket bolts. Now it's time to tighten all remaining bolts. Remember, the three quarter inch bolts are slotted, so it may be helpful to use a screwdriver to help hold them in place while you tighten them. Once all the bolts are tight, the assembly is complete. That's all there is to it. You're ready to go. Thanks again for your purchase, and we hope you enjoy using your new Jackson wheelbarrow for years to come.